DNA Subway GreenLine provides a classroom-friendly interface to eukaryotic RNA-seq using Callisto and Sleuth. In this short video, we'll provide just the highlights of getting started with the GreenLine. Using the GreenLine, it's possible to quickly and accurately align RNA-seq reads to a reference transcriptome. This alignment, or actually pseudo-alignment of reads, is done using the Callisto software. Differential abundance testing and custom visualization is conducted using Sleuth and presented in an R Shiny app. Before we get started with GreenLine, just a reminder to use the resources wisely. Although DNA Subway is freely available, it doesn't actually mean the compute is free. The resources we're using are provided by two NSF-funded projects, Jetstream Cloud and Cyverse. One reminder is to make use of public projects. You can analyze your data using the GreenLine and then make that project public, allowing anyone else to view the results without the need for repeating analysis of previously analyzed data. We also remind you to please provide feedback, either through surveys that are periodically available through DNA Subway or using the Contact Us link at the bottom of the subway.org page. You can use GreenLine either with sample data or with input data that you provide from either your own experiment or from another resource like the NCBI Sequence Read Archive. Your inputs must be in the form of FASTQ files, either .fastq or compress.fastq.gz. If you're using GreenLine with your own data, you'll need to upload that to the Cyverse Data Store. You can use a tool like Cyberduck, and detailed instructions are available at learning.cyverse.org. Once you've downloaded Cyberduck and the configuration profile, you'll configure, enter your credentials, and then upload your RNA-seq reads to the Cyverse Data Store. In order to use the green line, you'll need an account. You can obtain a free Cyverse account at user.cyverse.org, and we encourage every Subway user to get their own account. To create a project, you'll click a green square to begin. Then you'll select either single end or paired end for your project type. You can select an organism for your reference transcriptome, name the project, and add any required description and click Continue. To add files to your project, Click Manage Data, and then click Add Fast Queue to import files from the Cyberus Data Store. If you're using paired end reads, turn on the paired mode and designate those paired reads. You can also use Fast QC to examine the quality of your reads. Click the Run link underneath the QC column. This step is optional and can be skipped if you know you're using high quality data. If you have used Fast QC, you can click the View link, which will appear under the QC column once the jobs are complete. Click the View link to examine results. Trimming and filtering of reads is optional but recommended. Click FastX Toolkit and then click the Run link under the Basic column to do quality trimming using the default parameters. Or click the Run link under the Advanced column to adjust the trimming parameters as you see fit. Once you have your samples, you can click Least to Quantify and enter the names of your samples and conditions. Then click Submit to begin the pseudo-alignment job. Once your Callisto job is complete, you can click the Download button to download any Callisto outputs you wish to explore on your own. You can also click the folder icon to view alignment statistics. If you select the pseudo-BAM option when you ran your Callisto job, you'll also be presented with the option of examining files using the Integrated Genome Viewer. To view the results, click Sleuth R Shiny and then click Launch Shiny App to launch Sleuth in the R Shiny App interface. This may take several minutes to load. Once the R Shiny app is loaded, you'll be presented with a series of menus. In the results menu, you'll be presented with a table of differential expression results, which you can view, sort, filter, and download. In the bootstrap menu, you'll be presented with customized graphs of fold change. You can search for specific transcripts. In the PCA menu, you'll view clustering of samples by their principal components. In the volcano menu, you can see overall gene expressions, or you can search for specific transcripts to get a comparison of gene expressions across your sample. Using the Loadings menu, you can see the individual transcripts as they affect each principal component shown previously in the PCA plot. The Sample Heat Map menu will allow you to see pairwise comparisons between samples and replicates. For more online help and resources about RNA-Seq in general, we encourage you to visit the RNA-Seq for the Next Generation website. For a detailed GreenLine tutorial, including sample data, please visit learning.cybers.org.